children. Uh, you have two. Uh, one anymore? <laughs> Oops. Uh, tough question. I am really happy with, the, with our two children at the moment. Um, I'm going to give you a very political question, uh, answer here. Uh, we're, as a couple, fine for now. But I'm just going to say for now. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> that, that's not to say there couldn't be uh, more kids in the you future. You never know. Life is, uh, life is full of wonderful surprises. And, and we are so blessed to be parents of two angels that uh, are our teachers. Uh, they teach us how to, how to stay in the moment, how to be present, how to be joyful and playful. They awaken our inner, ch inner children that we've abandoned for years. So who's more interested in having more kids, you or the wife? I am. How many, how many more? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot um, here. <laughs> what, how, how, did, uh, yeah. how did having kids uh, kind of yeah. change, it just kind of upend your life? Wow. I mean, I, when, I, when I became a father, I really never knew how uh, much more I can love and, and the dimension of emotion and love that, that I experienced uh, that day when Stefan um, came to us. It was just unexplicable and, and uh, uncomparable to anything else that I have personally experienced, achieved um, in, my, in my life. And I'm sure Yelena will say the same and agree. I mean, um, anybody who is a parent understands the amount of love and support and dedication, unconditional love that you feel towards your, your child um, and the responsibility. And you're just, your life just completely shifts and turns around upside down. How do you think you'll go about finding a balance between all the opportunities that your success has created for your kids Hmm. with not wanting to dampen motivation? Because obviously they'll be growing up in much different yes, circumstances much than different you. Yes, much different circumstances. There are, there are pros and cons of that, of course. The pros that they will not have the heartache and uh, the challenges and obstacles that we had financially, economically, obviously. But at the same time, uh, they will have to experience, I think, a much greater emotional challenges, I think, and... Uh, and in their upbringing mentally to be regarded as the son or the daughter of and and their journey of um, self-growth is going to be I think uh, really demanding my daughter Tara she's obviously still she's two or just over two years old and still very young doesn't realize what is happening in tennis and who is who and what is happening. You know, she knows I go to play tennis and she knows, just knows that I hold a racket and I go with the bag and I play. And I come back and I put her to bed, that's all. Uh, and, and my boy, he already starting to realize what's going on. He went to see me play in Wimbledon, a couple of other tournaments now in Dubai recently as well for a match or two. And he's starting to, to understand. Um, and he's a very smart boy and very mature for his age. Uh, and he's handling it very well. That's something that is, that, 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 is, that is going to be a task of all of us, I think, to create circumstances where they can, and, and conditions in life in, w in which they can thrive to be the best uh, versions of human beings that they possibly can. And whatever they choose to do in life, whether it's tennis, sport, arts, whatever, whatever they choose in life, we, are, we will be there to, to really support them all the way as any parent would do.